Old Gen here at Zhongqing Chinese Restaurant. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Gen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our restaurant review videos, join me as we sample some New Orleans Chinese food specials at Zhongqing for an interesting meal time for this Chinese restaurant review vlog. In our last episode, we visited the Empty Nest Cafe and Bar, which is right next door to Zhongqing in a strip mall. Zhongqing is located in the New Orleans suburb of Metairie at 5050 West Esplanade Avenue, which is about 12 miles and 23 minutes away from the New Orleans French Quarter. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So this is my first visit to this restaurant and it looks like it's more of a carry-out place and they have the illuminated menu over the counter. However, we've also got a paper menu here with more detailed stuff. So let's go ahead and check out this menu now. So they have appetizers with pork egg roll, vegetable roll, shrimp roll, barbecue spare ribs, boneless spare ribs, fried crab rangoon, fried wonton, fried or steamed dumpling, chicken teriyaki, chicken wings with roast pork fried rice, with shrimp fried rice, with house special fried rice, french fries, beef teriyaki, fried crab meat, fried jumbo shrimp, soup, wonton soup, hot and sour soup, vegetable soup, house special soup, yatka main, shrimp or beef, roast pork or chicken and egg drop soup, chow mein, vegetable chow mein, chicken chow mein, roast pork chow mein, beef chow mein, shrimp chow mein, house special chow mein, Chop suey, vegetable chop suey, chicken chop suey, roast pork chop suey, beef chop suey, shrimp chop suey, house special chop suey. Next we have fried rice with plain fried rice, brown fried rice, vegetable fried rice, chicken fried rice, roast pork fried rice, beef fried rice, shrimp fried rice, house special fried rice, young chow fried rice, then lo mein with vegetable lo mein, chicken lo mein, roast pork lo mein, beef lo mein, shrimp lo mein, house special lo mein. Then chow mai fun with vegetable chow mai fun, chicken chow mai fun, roast pork chow mai fun, beef chow mai fun, shrimp chow mai fun, house special chow mai fun, and Singapore chow mai fun. Then egg foo young with vegetable egg foo young, chicken egg foo young, roast pork egg foo young, beef egg foo young, shrimp egg foo young, and house special egg foo young. Pork with roast pork with Chinese vegetables, roast pork with oyster sauce, roast pork with mushroom, roast pork with black bean, roast pork with broccoli, and roast pork with mixed veg. Then we have chicken with chicken with cashew nuts, chicken with black bean, chicken with broccoli, mugu gai pan, chicken with curry, chicken with garlic sauce, kung pao chicken, chicken with mixed veg. Then we have beef with pepper steak with onion, beef with Chinese vegetables, beef with oyster sauce, beef with mushroom, beef with snow peas, beef with broccoli, beef with curry, beef with garlic sauce, beef with mixed vegetables. Seafood, shrimp with Chinese vegetable, shrimp with lobster sauce, shrimp with cashew nuts, shrimp with broccoli, shrimp with curry sauce, shrimp with black bean, shrimp with snow peas, shrimp with garlic sauce, kung pao shrimp, and shrimp with mixed vegetables. Then vegetables with mixed vegetable, mapo tofu, mixed vegetable with tofu, Mushu, mushu chicken, mushu beef, mushu pork, mushu shrimp. Diet menu, steamed mixed vegetable, steamed chicken with mixed veg, steamed shrimp with mixed veg, steamed chicken with broccoli, and steamed shrimp with broccoli. Then we have chef specialties with Cantonese chicken, double Hunan style, happy family, Szechuan chicken, General Zoe's chicken, orange chicken, sesame shrimp, hot and spicy jumbo shrimp, seafood delight, triple delight, orange beef, dragon and phoenix, Tung Teen Shrimp, Mongolian Beef, Four Season, Boneless Chicken, Double Delight, Sweet and Sour Shrimp, Hunan Beef, Shazwan Beef, and General So Shrimp. Then we have Combination Platter with Chow or Shrimp Chow Mein, Pepper Steak with Onion, Roast Pork with Chinese Veg, Sweet and Sour Chicken, Mugu Gai Pan, Lo Mein, Chicken, Roast Pork, Beef, Chicken with Broccoli, Beef with Broccoli, Chicken with Garlic Sauce, Shrimp with Garlic Sauce, Hot and Spicy Chicken, Hot and Spicy Beef, Kung Pao Chicken, Kung Pao Shrimp, General Zoe's chicken, sesame chicken, Hunan chicken, Szechuan chicken, mixed vegetable, boneless spare ribs, curry chicken, shrimp with broccoli, shrimp with lobster sauce, shrimp or chicken or pork egg foo young, Cantonese chicken, boneless chicken, honey chicken, Szechuan beef, and Hunan beef. Then we have the lunch special with chicken or shrimp chow mein, pepper steak with onion, roast pork with Chinese veg, sweet and sour chicken, mugu gai pan, lo mein, chicken, roast pork beef, chicken broccoli, beef with broccoli, chicken with garlic sauce, shrimp with garlic sauce, hot and spicy chicken, hot and spicy beef, kung pao chicken, kung pao shrimp, general zao's chicken, sesame chicken, hunan chicken, szechuan chicken, mixed vegetable, boneless spare ribs, curry chicken, shrimp with lobster sauce, shrimp with broccoli, shrimp chicken or pork egg foo young, honey chicken, Cantonese chicken, and beef with mixed vegetable. You can also get it hot and spicy. Okay, put my order on at the counter and the total was $9.33 before tip. Okay, here's my order. What do you think I got? 
gotta get this box open first, though. So, let's see what a challenge this could be. Alright, so we got a little Mugu Guy pan, and then I ordered a soup, and uh, I don't know, I think maybe they did not get my order right. Look at this, this is a hot and sour soup. I ordered an egg drop soup. So, here's the food. Some of it's wrong, some of it's right. So, this egg drop soup has somehow transformed magically into a hot and sour soup, so let's taste it. Okay, it's uh, decent for a hot and sour soup. It's uh, definitely blazing hot. It's got a very high temperature going on here. It's burning my mouth a little bit so hot. It's definitely uh, more on the hot than the spicy side. And, uh, ooh, usually a hot and sour soup's got a little more kick and spice to it. In my experience, this is uh, an all right version. But I really was wanting an egg drop soup today, but instead I get this. A little more stuff inside of it than your typical egg drop soup. So you get a little more vegetable content in the hot and sour. Then we uh, certainly are making some headway with taking this thing down. And it looks like there's some carrots in there as well. So a lot of nice little crunchy items in there. And it's uh, certainly a very high temperature as far as it's probably burn my tongue a good bit and hopefully I'll be able to taste everything else after we finish the soup. Though, uh, you know, I was uh, expecting to eat out of regular bowls and plates of food as I ordered it for the eat inside option, not the to go option. So I was a little bit surprised that they put everything in to-go containers. I'd read online that they do have real china that they will serve you in. Maybe not anymore though, I guess. So I do everything in styrofoam instead of actual china. And let me tell you, the soup is not the easiest to eat with a plastic spoon. So just like I've destroyed this soup, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this hot and sour soup. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do it for tips. I appreciate any help with that. All right, we have a pretty healthy serving of Mugu Gai Pan here. So there's some uh, decent looking chicken in here, some nice little crunchy veggies in that. So let's give it the first taste test here. Uh, you know, chicken's a little on the chewier side. There's also some nice shrimp and the stir fried rice. So we'll give that a sample as well. And I uh, gotta say this rice is not my favorite version of a stir fried rice. It's a lot more chewy and dry. It certainly needs some uh, more of the sauce from Muku Kai Pan mixed up in it to get it a little more on the edible side. So uh, I've got to say I'm not a big fan of their rice here. They do use some pretty large shrimp though that they mix inside the rice. And the Mugu Gai Pan is a decent flavor. I've definitely had better. Ah, uh, but it's certainly a generous serving for the price overall. And they certainly have given you quite a lot of meat compared to some other places. So I can't complain about the meat ratio. There's quite a few other places will give you a whole lot more vegetables compared to the meat portion. And here it seems it's probably uh, at least 50-50, I would guess, as uh, you certainly get a nice little pile of uh, chicken here, and then a nice assortment of shrimp that goes with the stir-fried rice as well. So overall, you're uh, turning out pretty darn good with the protein uh, compared to the rice and the vegetable content when you're looking at this uh, serving compared to many other places. However, the uh, flavor factor is a bit lacking. Uh, say this is one of the least flavorful versions of a Mugu Gai Pan I think I've ever had. It's just uh, kind of bland or maybe it's because I totally burned my taste buds off with eating that super hot, hot and sour soup. So maybe there is lots of flavor, it's just I've got no taste buds left alive to taste it at this point in time. I'm definitely uh, feeling a little numbness in my mouth from that searing hot uh, soup. Ooh. So the uh, Mugu Gai Pan's going down pretty easy, and uh, the most impressive thing about it, though, to me so far is how large the shrimp are they put on the stir-fried rice. So that is the big surprise of this meal so far to me. And the uh, chicken is certainly uh, in pretty big chunks as well, and they uh, could have had a few more of the crunchy snow peas in there, as that's kind of uh, my little favorite crunchy item in a Mugu Gai Pan. The other vegetables in here are pretty decent, 
And uh, I certainly would have minded a few more of the vegetables to be in here, as it does give it that nice crunch characteristic that really makes Boo Guy Pam one of my preferred options to get in a Chinese restaurant like this. So we got a little uh, crunch right here, and then we've got a whole lot of rice left still. So the chicken uh, and uh, uh, shrimp seem to be dominating those things, which, hey, you know, it's good to have protein, but don't uh, leave out my crunchy vegetables to go with it as well. Uh, the carrots are okay and all, but the uh, snow peas are probably my favorite little crunchy little treat inside the mix here as far as the vegetable content. And there could be some uh, water chestnuts added as well. I do love that as uh, one of the components of my Boo Boo Guy Pan. And there's also a total lack of sauce. Most of the Boo Boo Guy Pans really have a nice little white sauce that kind of goes along and holds everything together and it would radically improve the taste of this very dry fried rice. So the sauce content is very low and that could certainly be something to change up to make this a much better dish to my taste preference at least as uh, the sauce really can carry a dish a lot further and this super dry rice is not really uh, wetting my whistle at the moment I'd have to say. It's just very very chewy and it's just uh, not, not my way I'd like to eat this rice overall I'd have to say. So, you know, it uh, is what it is, I suppose, and you're going to have some different experiences at different places because it seems uh, there's always quite a big difference between the places and the way they make their stir fried rice on average. So, I guess that does keep life more interesting. It's just sometimes you find things a little more interesting than you would like in certain moments. So, I would say this uh, rice is probably the weakest point of the dish overall. It's not horrible. I definitely have had worse rice. They haven't burned it at least, so it's just not the uh, level of either being steamed or boiled or cooked or however they cooked it as part of the stir frying process. It could have been done a little bit different for my flavor preference at least, but hey, maybe other people love their rice like this. So now I'm full, so just like I totally destroyed this Wigoo Guy pan, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this Moo Boo Guy pan. And while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do it for tips. I appreciate any help with that. So, thanks to everybody at John Ging for putting together some decent value meal options here. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Hunt channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, go ahead and take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.